Somewhere between space and time, there is a place, the Archive of Awesome, an ancient vault that guards the most amazing stories and myths. Each book, a magical gateway to the paperverse. Let me take you on a journey through the seven masterpieces. It's time to return to game. Greetings, welcome to Book of Demons. <laughs> ah, the Book of Demons. A truly grim story in our collection. Not for the faint of heart. A wandering hero returns home. Only to find everything different than remembered. A horrendous evil rose from the depths of hell, devoured the brave and poisoned the living with despair. For in the depths of a place once holy, a dark ritual is concluded. Ah, the ultimate evil has awoken. Adventure. Darkness. Horrors. All of these await below. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Sosai character, Sosai Yuna, and let's go for normal. Yeah, I played a little bit earlier to check it out. Is that really? I know basics. I'm so happy to see you after all this time. It seems like it's been ages since you left our town. I just wish we weren't meeting under such dire circumstances. Back then. It was peaceful, but now, the town is disturbed by a demonic presence that's spreading throughout the land. Most of our friends are gone. Some people fled. Some took their own lives. Some have just vanished. Those who stayed have lost their minds or are too frightened to leave their houses. I'm doing my best to keep everyone's spirits up. But the truth is, we won't survive for long without help. Just don't tell anybody I said that. You must have lots of questions, but I don't have many answers. Talk to the sage if you want to know more. He might be able to help you. I will talk to him for sure. Hello, sage. Your arrival brings hope to my old heart. Really? There's no better way to forge one's skill than by traveling. I should know, <laughs> uh, but I beg you not to leave. We need you here. Dark things lurk in the depths beneath the old cathedral. I've seen plenty of evils in my travels, but this makes my journey through the dragon wastes look like a walk in the park. Everything started with the disappearance of our bishop. I fear he has been dragged into the catacombs deep below the church. I do not know what caused such desecration of that holy place. That enigma is yet to be solved. Uh, and you are the only one who can do it. Just remember to be careful. Few who have ventured into the dark made their way back. And those who did were no longer alive. Okay. That did not help. Hello. No. Okay, let's go into the cathedral. Hey, cook. Okay, but I don't know about it yet. And the Pope. Okay. Hey! 
area, bro. <laughs> okay. We'll start our adventure here. Yes. I am the sword that splits darkness. Yes, you are. Click anywhere to move, click behind or on your hack to stop. Your character will stop at intersections. Okay. You can interact with objects in your light thread, yes. Like so. Okay. Yes. It's an interesting thing. Say. Yeah, that's like that. Click to choose a target to feel character auto attacks. Auto attacks is slow, each hit damage is one heart. Click or click and hold on target to attack faster. When engage with monsters, click and hold to retreat. And hold behind you to retreat. That's the part. So you really will be killing Whoa, we'll be killing them. Killing them. Manually. I can set on press represent points of interest on this level. The icon is revealed when you're getting near. I get this chest here. We've got um, mighty blow. This massive damage and stuns the target. Requires target. Use the card back again to like. Oh, okay. Hard points are your life. If you lose them all, you will die. Your heart points don't auto-regenerate. Use photos and cards to recover health. You can always go back to the tower and be healed by the hero. Fill your cards by pressing I or using the button in the bottom right corner. Rearrange cards between your card panel and slots by clicking and dragging them. Only equipped cards are active. Use cards in slots with right click or 0 to 9 keys to unlock more cast slots. Visit the sage in the town. Mm -hmm. yeah, it costs 2000 gold for another slot. That um, missing place. I know they're very far away for dealing with them with a sword. Try. See that the sanctity of this place has been fouled. Yeah, someone made it graffiti. <laughs> hey, I like how monsters can walk around freely. They only can move using pathways. Yes. Action level up points for hearts to make greater resistance more damage. Action should level up points for mana to equip more artifact cards and use more spell cards. After your choice, the point you didn't choose goes into the cauldron, which will be explained later. Kill monsters and gain experience points to level up. Each time you level up, all monsters lose one heart. Oh! Every level gives you one point, which can be added. To your hearts or used to boost your mana. <sighs> yeah. Every time you turn a level up point into heart or mana, the point goes of the point of the opposite type goes into the cauldron. To collect the content of the cauldron, talk to the barmaid. Even though you lose the prizes, dying doesn't destroy level up points in the cauldron. Okay. okay. The next level. Yeah. And... Oh, and the card. And this is our health potion. And right now we have only one of this and this. So we need to be careful not to die. Oh, not to get hit too many times. Come on, move. 
zombies and some other monsters had poisoned hearts. On death, zombies explode with shockwave that poisons everyone around. Brutally poisoned monsters are marked with a skull. Zombies cannot be poisoned, they are healed instead. So let's kill him really fast. No. Poison damage you see over time. Total number of poison damage is shown below the orb here. When the demon glows, quickly click the orb to shorten the poison duration. Close. It does. Yeah. That's what I want to do. Oh. Bosses are tough to defeat. Each one has multiple stages. The more stages a boss has, the more rewards he drops when slain. All boss stages are shown on the boss bar. Before each stage, the boss is immune. He is preparing a special attack and cannot be stopped. <coughs> Open. Uh. Okay, that was supposed to be a powerful attack. Okay. I'm getting hit a lot this time. Okay, now that's a lot. Okay. Yes, but hurry before this goes down. Oh, it's not you. There's a little level up and treasure. More experience. Actually, there's my experience. Yeah. Right. Level up. Add more help. And click stairs to go there immediately. Okay, no, I cannot. At least it didn't work. Yes, the footprints you leave behind, they show you the direction you came from and mark the places you visited. Golden footprints mean a girdle has been fully visited. Normal footprints partially visited. No footprints, you haven't been there yet. Mini map will help you track all the points of interest on the level. Open it with tap or scroll. Yes, we can go further down. Or we'll go back to town. For now. So we have to talk. I've been busy too while you were away. The fortune teller is teaching me her craft. And I don't mean her skill with guards. It's called prize brewing. And it's the art of producing powerful magical elixirs that someone like you should find useful. All you need to do is collect the ingredients. I'll take care of the rest. Now, this is the magical stuff I'm talking about. So there are some rules. First, the more ingredients I mix, the greater the potion's power will be. Second, you can drink it and enjoy a little magic anytime you want. But the process will get more expensive each time. Third, if monsters slay you in the dungeons, the potion will weaken. It's because I'm making them just for you, so they have to be magically linked to your essence. Okay. Let's see. Right now I can pay 500 gold to gain 2 mana. Not really anything great. Okay, give me a second and level lower also with the music in the background. Okay, that should be a little bit better. souls venture into the depths under the cathedral as this is the realm where the dead rest, or at least should be resting. Countless warriors, men of the cloth, mages and even kings of old were buried there with troves of gold and gems. But the dead are now restless. 
quickened by some unholy powers. They are haunting the corridors like wild animals, and their courage, virtue, and talents have been replaced with mindless violence. Ending their painful existence will be an act of mercy, if you ask me. If you think so, okay. And this is all we can talk to you about now. Hello. Greetings, traveler. People call me the fortune teller. I'm pleased to see there are souls courageous enough to visit a place like this and stay. In truth, I came here recently myself, <clears throat> as I had to leave the royal capital. Mm. I am certain you have already heard about me and my excellent skills from the lovely barmaid I'm tutoring. Believe me when I say you will find my craft most useful in your adventures. Feel free to talk to me should you need any assistance. The townsfolk are good but simple people and know little about the arcane. That sage may be an exception, but his wit, not to mention his social skills, are clearly dulled by age. <laughs> We're all lucky that cranky old men tend to be harmless. Oh. Cards okay. are my specialty. I know, yes. They represent a novel approach to magic, offering a superior alternative to clunky weaponry and verbose spellcasting. Unfortunately, new things are often frowned upon, even more so in quaint places like this town. Can you imagine not so long ago those people traded with a local blacksmith? This is so Middle Ages. <laughs> no wonder he went bankrupt. But let's get back to business. Cards are universal magical items which can manifest properties of weapons, spells, and other artifacts. Some consume magical essence once used, but they can be recharged using objects found in the dungeons or with <laughs> my help at a reasonable price. Just like with playing cards, the trick is to find the right combination of magical properties that gives you the best advantage. Okay. Charge card. Charge a health potion. So we have, for now we have one out of four. There's a spot, I'll leave it like that. I need it. What do you want? Missed me already? Do you want me to reset? Okay. Do you wish to collect gold presents or wait for gravely losing the bonus? Each time you collect prizes, the price of the gold increased. And the hero dice and both prizes are lost, so I won't use it now. I don't want it now. What do you want from me, girl? You missed me already? No. Okay. I'll leave it even though it's annoying. Yeah. I'll go back to the cathedral. Now I'll go further down. Yes. For now, I'm ignorant. <laughs> Where's the hero do? Nothing to do here. <laughs> Nothing to do, charge items. Yeah, I won't visit them yet. Because we just did. So, let's go for our first session. With Flexiscope, you choose the size of your game session. Depending on your preferences, you can divide your adventure into smaller or bigger games, regardless of how much time you have. Flexiscope ensures fair balance of threats and rewards that, and that the gameplay experience can be completed in the predicted time. Since Flexiscope learns your gameplay style, the time estimates for each subsequent session size should be more accurate. Okay, and I actually think I'll use the small size. Was that zombie? Zombie. Okay. Let's venture into the depths of the old cathedral. I actually can't help but think that this game reminds me a lot of Darkest Dungeon, even though it should remind me of the Diablo. Just, you know, the Hamlet, kind of. Oh, 
the way the cathedral is presented as well. Gargoyles have stone hearts. They are immune to elemental effects, poison, fire, and ice. When gargoyles stood to statue, they heal over time. Beware. What? Ah, too many things. Some armored monsters are protected by shields. Damage the shields by shield by clicking the shield icon. Monsters are immune until their shields are destroyed. Some shields are magical and can reappear after being destroyed. Kill him, please. Take so ten to click somewhere else instead of the enemy. This is why I don't play F any FPSs. What's it? Ingredients found in the dungeons are placed in the cauldron and transformed into prizes. Yeah. So that was some sort of a ingredient. I wonder what that was. Seriously, I'm clicking that. Um. Can he be? Yeah, he can be poison. Okay, you're done. And you're done. I'll just wait. Yeah. Now let's see. First of all, this place. Nice. Yeah, it costs two thousand to get another card slot, so which I don't quite need just yet. I would like a new weapon. But it's survivor. Defeat ten zombies. Okay. And potion, and we already have maximum. Oh, another cauldron. I think. No. Okay, let's get another elf. Okay, this is how it works. After you take the stairs down, you can re enter the level from the back by clicking on the right side of the level. You can always go back to town from the cross cut screen, even between levels. Oh, they don't want I feel it's a little bit cheaty. I got lost several levels up, but I'm way too proud to ask for directions. You sound like a paladin. Really? Nice. Yeah, nice indeed. Wow. Okay, yeah, kill that girl. Okay. Can I open that? Okay, it's dead. Oh, and there's... Ah. Run. Oh. Go here. Okay, I took some hits. But at least got rid of the rangers. Okay, let me check my thing. Because we have here we have an expert stat sheet. In cards with tools? No. Okay. Doesn't give me anything. Any kind of information that I would like right now. Okay. And this place is big. Oh, and I think there will be 
Very boss fight. Yep. It's a gargoyle. Oh, and gargoyles cannot be poisoned. Please come here. Hard, it just rangers that are really annoying. This it. Uh. See? Okay, I should really start using my keeper. <laughs> okay, okay, what the heck? Okay, there are three archers. Damn it! More, there's four of them. Blessed be the hour. Oh, that. On the card. Shield. Chance to block incoming missiles. Finally. It costs for something which I have to yeah. For stamina. Oh. You have to click on him. I don't think. have enough mana. Don't have enough mana. Oh, you don't have to generate mana as well? Okay. You didn't tell me that. Okay, that's all. So, let's go to the next level. The last one. We'll find a new enemy. No, 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 no. He's an archer. Some of us are guarded by others that I may not only kill all the guards. Some of you can also be guarded by monsters. You need to kill all of the guards. Okay, oh, at least they moved away. <clears throat> Man. Oh, I don't have mana. Damn it. Oh, I almost screwed myself. Yes, I noticed you're immune. Thank you. Thank you. What's that? Oh, Shadow Sword gets an extra attack against an additional opponent in range. Okay, I'll leave it for now because I don't have. Second card, so you can have two sets of cards saved and quickly switch between them using the button to the left mana OG. Okay. Ooh. Unreached of mana, which is mana points over time. So I will use that instead of shield. I think. Oh! can go. Further to the left. Yeah. Uh, oh. Anything to say about this place? No. Okay. No, oh, let's go. Level is clear. Really? Cold. 
Really? <laughs> that was all. Oh my. Hey! We're done with this adventure, so let's go back to town. And I think I'll leave it for here for now. Thank you. Bye bye!